So if you watched my first video on this new trajectory, you know that I had let life be my game dev boss for a long time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the video. But for a while, I let life be my game dev boss. No longer. That is not the case anymore. And I'm making this decision now because it's at a very pivotal moment in my life. It is quite literally now or never. Now or never. Why is it now or never? I'm going to talk about that today. But I need to go all in. And I need to go all in, all in now. So today I'm sharing how and why I'm going all in and how the future of this studio quite literally depends on it. So let's just get into it here. So why am I going all in now, you ask? Well, life demands it life demands it you know my kiddos they're getting a little older they're starting to go to preschool and you know my wife brings home the bacon you know she brings home the big butts bless her heart i love her so much jana i love you you're amazing and it's not just because you're hot and you bring in a lot of money i mean it is partly that but you know what i mean you know it only makes sense for me to start contributing money because i'm not going to be a stay-home dad as much anymore you know so i need to get a part-time job i need to get a part-time job or have this studio be profitable have it start to bring in some money and that's really what it comes down to I either need to get a part-time job or I need to make game dev bring in some money those are the two options and to me it's 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 so clear and obvious what I need to do I need to make game dev profitable and what I mean by profitable is not just like not just like the generic definition of like how much time you put in you get that much money in return no i need to just to make some money really is what it comes down to it needs to make some money right now i'm making about like 50 bucks every other month let me tell you what it ain't gonna cut it life is about to make the decision for me and i'm not gonna let it i am going to do something about it and it's now or never and i'm going all in on game dev so if i want this studio to be profitable i need a goal what does profitability mean to me it, you know, if it's now or never, what is the now? What do I need now? Well, my goal, at least for now, is $500 a month by the end of December, by 2026. That's the goal. $500 a month by the end of the year. I don't love talking about money, so I'm a little uncomfortable right now. Bear with me. Um, why that number, you ask? Well, for a while, I was like, maybe a thousand bucks by, maybe a thousand dollars a month by the end of the year. And I was like, you know what? That's a big number. <laughs> that's a big number and I think if you watch my previous video I think that might re-engage that cycle that I hate so much of the mountain being too big a thousand dollars being too great me seeing that mountain and being like it's too hard I'm not gonna do anything and then life making the decision for me of nothing happening and I gotta go to a part-time job so I was like let's do something sustainable let's make it 500 bucks let's cut it in half also you know $500 is not you know I could go get a part-time job and make more money than $500 but yeah I'm not doing that um, $500 is the number I'm going for I think it's sustainable I think it's doable in the time frame with what I have going on these pillars these projects that I will discuss at a later time you might ask yourself you're gonna ask yourself Matthew how are you going to get $500 a month from your game dev studio by 2026 how are you going to do that that's a great question camera thank you for asking I would love to answer it for you I discussed this in my last video I have accrued a bunch of time debt I have projects that I've started that I believe in that need to be finished and that is what it is going to be all about in 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 how I'm going to reach this goal so first pillar again I might have a graphic I don't know I should start drawing on Miro or something like that but first things first prepare the past is the game I've been working on for about six months to eight ish months it needs to get finished it needs to get finished. That is the number one thing. The absolute number one thing I, I am focused on right now is getting that game finished so that I can release it and go on to the next thing, the next pillar. Uh, so prepare the past is numero uno. I need to finish prepare the past and start selling it. That will help me get to that $500 a month. Obviously, it's not always going to be making me money, you know, that one game. My goodness, the background here is going crazy. I should probably change the background because it's like going crazy. Anywho, prepare the past. It needs to get finished. That's number one. That's the first part of me hitting $500 a month. Second part, this is whatever, my web development. What is my web development? I'm working on an, uh, on an application, a web application called Dev Matter. It is to help developers make their games. I want to be very clear about something right here. Right now, right here, I'm talking to you, camera. I'm talking about talking to the audience. I do not feel comfortable making a course. 
I feel like courses have kind of gotten a bad name and I kind of agree with it. I don't want to make a course and I don't think I'm smart enough to make a course and I don't think I'm someone worth listening to to educate I'm not a teacher, you know, I'm not a teacher. Uh, I'm a problem solver. I'm a problem solver. That's what I am. I'm not a teacher. I'm a problem solver. And I'm creating something to help game devs solve their problems. This is dev matter. I'm creating something to help developers solve their problem. I will discuss it at a later time, but I really believe in it. And I want to make something that is actually valuable to developers. I want to make something that developers will use every day. And I want it to be a tool for developers. That is what I'm trying to create with dev map. If you see here, it's not finished. It needs to be finished. And that is going to be part of this $500 a month goal. So dev matter, really excited to talk about it more. Really believe in the idea. <laughs> the next thing, and uh, the next thing I'm focusing on to reach that $500 a month goal is YouTube. Whoa, YouTube, I'm, I'm talking to YouTube right now. Um, I have built something here on YouTube that I'm super duper proud of. I have an audience of 4,000 subscribers, really pumped about that, really excited about it. Awesome stuff, I love it, I'm really proud of it, and um, I want to pour more of myself into it. So, through AdSense, through sponsors, through merch, all that jazz, it's going to help me get to that $500 goal by the end of the year. If I want YouTube to be successful, it's empty right now, it should be a little fuller than that. Um, if I want YouTube to be successful, I need to pour more of myself into it. Like that little analogy there, I liked it. I need to pour more of myself into it. So that's what I'm gonna do. More videos a week, and I again, 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 I don't wanna just be like, just here's some advice, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I First of all, I'm not a teacher, I'm a problem solver. And I want to share how I am solving the problem of not making money off of game dev, which I wanna do. It's not about really making the money, it's about you know, wanting to do this for the rest of my life and how I need to go all in. Going back to the all in aspect of this video. I need to go all in. And if I'm going to go all in, these are the three areas I'm going all in on. Game dev, dev matter, and YouTube. Really excited to talk more about them in the future, which I will be. Hit that like and subscribe button. I didn't mention this in my previous video. Go, go join the Discord. There's a bunch of cool people on the Discord. Go join the Discord, please. Um, Yes. So last thing I want to say in this video is if I don't do this, if I do not choose to go all in, life will make the decision for me. What is luck? I just spit. Gross. What is luck? Luck. I'm going to look it up because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Luck is what happens when opportunity meets preparedness, I believe. Uh, when opportunity meets preparedness is where luck is. I am preparing myself for the opportunity coming my way. And that is what I'm living in. I'm living in this opportunity right now. I am living in the opportunity right now of being a stay-at-home dad, having extra time, and I haven't been utilizing it. And I'm wasting the luck that has come to me. So, no longer am I doing that. I'm taking advantage of it. I'm going all in. Going all in. Um, I yelled that right into the mic, I apologize. Um, but that's what luck is and I'm going all in. So if again, you are interested in content like this, again, I'm not a teacher, I'm a problem solver. And I'm not even that good of a problem solver, so whatever. But if you wanna join me for this journey, hit that like and subscribe button. I don't know what's gonna happen, who knows? I don't know. But if you like this type of content, hit that like and subscribe button and join the Discord because it's fun there. And I, I like talking to people. If I didn't like talking to people, I wouldn't be making these videos. Anywho, thank you for being here and Next video, what am I doing with the next video? The next video is my plan. What is my plan for making this studio profitable? I'm going deeper, deeper into these three things right here. Not super deep, but a deep, a little deeper. What is my plan? So hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.